Well, I'm going to take this a little different direction because I'm not going to talk about what I've done for Earl, but what Earl's done. We can't done. hear you. Hold it to Oh, mouth. okay. I'm not going to talk about what I've done for Errol. I'm going to talk more about what Errol's done for me. Because I, uh, excuse me if I get emotional. <laughs> uh, I graduated in engineering. And when I got out of engineering, I was looking for a job, and I could get these engineering jobs that paid pretty well, or I could get this aero job that paid $50 a month. Um, and I was like, it's a no-brainer, you know, why would I? So, so my sister gave me this test, and part of this test is you write down your 20 most important things in your life, and you've got different columns, and the last column is how much each one cost. And of my 20 most important things in life, the only thing that had any monetary value was cross-country skiing. And I already had a set of skis, so I went, well, I think I'll take this $50 a month job. <laughs> and I was this shy farm boy, I mean, really shy farm boy. And it didn't take long at Kai's house to figure out that these people aren't shy. <laughs> it's like really a different uh, environment that, I, that I've ever been in around these theater people that are not real modest, you might say. <laughs> um, so this, this shy farm boy with all these theater people uh, traveling around the state in a, in a blue bus, uh, 14 of us sharing this this same little tiny quarters. It was it was uh, quite a you might say an eye opening experience for this little uh, shy farm boy. So when I, when I was going through school, I remember because people were starting to talk about organic farming, and I was from a farm. They they asked me about organic farming, and I said, "Well, there's no way that can work." And I'm traveling with Errol, excuse me, and we, we end up at John, John Brown's farm for a stay, and it's like he's an organic farmer, and I go, oh, seems like maybe it does work. So, Errol, because of Errol, uh, I could be an organic farmer. Uh, it opened my mind in an incredible way. And before Errol, I didn't know anything about energy conservation. I didn't know anything about renewables. Jim Bird was a leading tech advisor on the first energy show tour. They hired me to be the second one. I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I learned fast, and I caught the bug. And because of Arrow, I have, I've done a lot of energy work. I've built a lot of energy efficient buildings. My, my home organic farm, one of the early organic farms in the state, is a zero energy electric farm. All my power is from, from solar cells. My house is heated. My, I've got a geothermal heat pump. Uh, I run my electric car. It's all run off a solar system. I use the, the local utility for a battery, but I, I produce all that. Uh, the houses I've built, and this is all because of Arrow's influence on me. It's not what I've given to Arrow, it's what Arrow's given to me. Uh, I've built a lot of houses that are energy efficient that the owners didn't care if they were energy efficient, you know? It's like, well, if I'm building them, that's what you're getting. <laughs> and they don't even, I mean, they don't even know, they don't even care. Huh? And I also, because of aero, I didn't want to be wasteful, so I, I used a lot of reclaimed materials. I used a lot of dead standing wood in my work. Uh, aero changed my life. Because I had, this was not the direction my life was headed. Because of aero, uh, I met Jim and Dave and Tom and Timeless Seeds, you know, because of aero. It's been an incredible influence on my life, and I, I just want to thank all the people that have been so 
much of an influence on that. It's, it's, uh, it's just been an incredible trip. Thank you.